We are for the race preview for the Calcutta Races Season 2020-2021 Winter Meeting, 6th day, Saturday, the 30th of January 2021. Race number 1, the Desiree Handicap for horses rated 1 to 26, about 1600 meters. First up, we have the indicator. First up, we have horse number 1, the indicator. The indicator ran a very disappointing race uh, in race number 46, though it placed third over a mile with jockey Nikhil Naidu. J the jockey could not place his mount and you know, he, he couldn't be up with the field due to a very slow jump at the start. He even failed to make any adequate attempt to place his mount in the early part of the race, although he had every opportunity to do so, resulting in a close third to Incognito. Number two, we have Criteria. The Colt has run only three times in his career. He hasn't done much in his three runs. Ran unplaced always. In his last run over 2000 meters, it jumped awkwardly out from the gates. It tried to make a progress from the 600 meters but was trapped for room and may have been inconvenienced. Now running over a mile with jockey DS Deura. Next up, we look at horse number 3, Jinsoku, and horse number 5, Bemuse. Jinsoku last run on the Derby day over a distance of 1200 meters with jockey Arshad Alam. Yahalla won that race very impressively. Jinsoku finished fourth, about a distance behind the winner. Trainer Rutherford has declared apprentice P. Tejishwar to ride him this time. Bemuse has had three starts this season, all over shorter distances. Trainer Javed Khan sticks to the same local jockey, Mohammed Islam, even this time. Bemuse finished 5th in that race. Next up, number 4, Huntsman. Huntsman has run 3 times this season. Finished 8th in his last start over a distance of 1100 meters. Apprentice Hashib Alam and Huntsman finished last in his last run. The gelding jumped awkwardly from the gates, losing few lengths at the start. He was seen scraping the false rails for some time after passing the uh, 800 meters. He's running the mile this time. Let's see what Suraj does on Huntsman this time. Number six, the last judgment uh, has had already four starts this season. Now he's riding again over a mile. He has not impressed much with his starts this season. Ran very poor races, rated at eight. Okay, hope he gives a better performance this time. Race number two, the another time handicap for horses rated 1 to 26, about 1200 meters. First up, we look at horse number two, Nandini's pet, number six, Simran's pet, and number seven, Buddy Holly. All three come from Vikas Jaiswal stables. Nandini's pet ran four times this season. The filly finished third in her last two starts, getting beat to around the world and Yahalla. Delhi jockey Akash Rajput will be seen for the first time this season. Has travelled a 6 for longs in his last start, which should help the trainer and Akash to assess this run this time. Simran Spet ran 7th in that race. She also comes from Vikas Jaiswal stable. Bari Holly came 6th in that race. Apprentice Shujit Kumar Paswan has been declared to ride him this time. Number 3, we look at Zodiac Prince, Letir Moir out of Perpetuate. Has had 2 starts this season. He finished last in his last start. He was fancied over a distance of 1200 meters this season. In his last start, we saw him taking a good jump, sitting a good third, but passing the 600 meters, it began to fade away and eventually finished last. Dashrat Singh has been declared to ride him this time. Hope he does not disappoint this time. Next up, we look at horse number four, Isadora. Isadora has had two starts this season, was not very impressive was seen last on the 5th of January where she ran over a distance of 1100 meters with apprentice Rupal Singh. She finished 13th in that race. This time jockey Shehzad Khan has been declared to ride. Next up we look at horse number 5, Rewrite the Stars. Speaking of which, out of Khalila. The filly is running after a long layoff. She last ran on the 4th of March last season. She finished 10th in that start over 1200 meters. Apprentice Tejishwar has given her gate jumps in the mornings. Hope to see the filly run a good race in the hands of the apprentice. Race number three, the Bogamo plate for horses 
3 years old and only about 1100 meters. First up we look at Centurion. Has had one start this season, Smuggler's Cove out of Rebecca. Coming from trainer Bharat Singh stable, the Cole finished fifth in his last start with jockey Akshay Kumar. He sat last till the 600, then made a move on the inside rails, came up, but did not kick on further from there. Centurion will be ridden by stable jockey Mohammed Islam this time. Next, we look at horse number three, Big Pearl, Arabian Gulf out of Jewel. She has had one start this season where she finished second to her stablemate Amazing Dream. Say about five lengths, five and a half lengths behind. Ran a decent race beating Wen Cheng and Mother's Love on his way home. Next we'll look at number five Honey Crisp, David Livingstone out of Apple of My Eye. She ran on the Derby Day in the Alokananda Stakes over 1200 meters. She finished 7th. Nothing much impressive, but the filly has the potential to run better races. Honey Crisp will be ridden by stable jockey Hindu Singh. Next, we look at number 7 X5. Perfect stride out of Alaric. The filly finished 5th in her last start. The only start with Mohammed Islam up had taken a fly jump out of the gates. He also met an inf interference just before 600 meters. Drawn 7 this time, comes from the stable of Javed Khan and will be ridden by jockey Dashrat Singh. For the Astridi or Handicap for horses rated 61 to 86, about 1600 meters. First up, we look at horse number one, Lord of the Sea. Lord of the Sea has had one start this season over a distance of 1400 meters. The gelding finished eighth in that race. The gelding has impressed us in the past over longer distances. Shazad Khan has been declared to ride him again this time. The distance may help Lord of the Sea perform better this time. Next up, we look at horse number two, Silver Bracelet, and horse number five, Rakshaki. Both ran in race number 63 over a distance of 2400 meters. Silver Bracelet won his last start, and she has also run second to Violin in the Thousand Guineas over a mile. Stable jockey Hindu Singh has been declared to ride at this time. Rakshaki came third in that race, about six and a half lengths between him and Silver Bracelet, now running over a mile. Has a cross nose band on. Apprentice Sujit Kumar Paswan will be riding him this time. Next up, we look at horse number three, Tudor Hall. Tudor Hall was very impressive in the hands of jockey A. Sandesh. He cantered past his opponents in his only start in Calcutta. Was one of those smooth rides of A. Sandesh. Yes, it has got a penalty of seven and a half kilos after that run. This time, champion jockey Suraj Naridu has been declared to ride him. Next up, we look at horse number four, Dancing Lord. The nine-year-old gelding has had only two starts this season. His last start was of the same distance as this one. He jumped out awkwardly from the gates with jockey Nikhil Naidu, where he finished last, about a distance behind Abhay Gama, the winner. He's drawn one this time, and jockey Dashrat Singh is declared to ride him this time. Race number five, the Wise Man Handicap for horses rated 21 to 46, about 1100 meters. First up, we look at horse number one, Krisha's Choice, number four, Abelson, and number seven, Annika. All three raced in race number 55, where Krisha's Choice came out and won that race. Abelson finished seventh, and Annika finished fifth out of 13 runners. Krisha's Choice looked very impressive, was on a start to finish mission, and won that race easily. Krishas Choice will be ridden by jockey Akash Rajput. Abelson is being ridden by jockey Dhanu Singh Deora. P. Vikram, who was riding Annika last time, was severely rep reprimanded for keeping an erratic course in the first furlong of the race. Annika is being ridden by jockey Dashrat Singh. Next up, we look at horse number two, Eastern Crown. Eastern Crown last raced in 
race number 65 over 1600 meters where he finished 6th out of 9 runners. The gelding has been giving disappointing performances to trainer Shafiq Khan. Now it's back to a sprint with stable jockey K Sai Kirana. He has got a drop of 1.5 kilos after that run. Next up we look at horse number 3 Asos. Asos last ran in race number 10 where he finished 6th out of 8 runners. Guitar Girl won that race. Asos's last two starts were not very impressive. He finished 8th in a 7 for long and 6th in a 5.5. He's running a 5.5 this time with a change of equipment, a cross nose band is on. In the hands of jockey Suraj Naridu, let's see what the 4 year old brings out this time. Next we look at horse number 5, Brilliant Gold. Brilliant Gold last raced in race number 38 where the gelding finished 8th out of 12 runners. Black Moss won that race. His 3 starts this season were unplaced. He bled from both nostrils in his last start. Apprentice Rupal Singh is declared to ride him this time. Next we look at horse number 6, Capricornia. Last race in race number 74 over a distance of 1400 meters, where she placed 7th out of 14. Winner of that race was Estrella Star. This will be her third start in Kolkata. She's coming back to a distance of 1100 meters. Let's see, she brings up a win and comes out of the maiden ranking. Stable jockey Hindu Singh is declared to ride her this time. Next up, we look at horse number 8, Iconia, last raced in race number 60 over a distance of 1200. The 6 year old mare was maintaining a mid bunch position in the early stages of the race, but it seemed she just could not kick on in the final parts of the race and gave another disappointing run. She's got a drop of 2.5 kilos after that run. Iconia will be ridden by apprentice jockey Hashib Alam this time. Race number 6, the Silver Balm Handicap for horses rated 41 to 66, about 1400 meters. First, we're looking at horse number 1, Oak Brook. Oak Brook was seen last racing in race number 52, where he finished 5th out of 6 horses. The winner of that race was Abhay Gama. Oak Brook has been giving satisfying performances, placing in all and his last 5 runs where he's matched up to the likes of Castle Bridge and Hukumat earlier this season. Let's see how he performs after the drop of 1 kilo and running in a lower class with apprentice jockey Hasib Alam atop. Horse number 2 and horse number 6, Big Star and Gold Bond, both raced in race number 67 over 1400 metres, where Big Star finished 7th and Gold Bond finished 6th. It goes without saying that neither of the two horses have uh, given impressive results in their last performances. Again running the 1400, let's see how Big Star and Gold Bond perform. Big Star will be ridden by apprentice jockey Rupal Singh and Gold Bond will be ridden by apprentice jockey P. Vikram. Next we're looking at horse number 3 Moskova and horse number 5 Sheer Force. Last, both raced in race number 54 over 1400 meters. Moskova was the winner of that race. Sheer Force placed in third by almost three lengths behind Moskova. Moskova has been keeping up quite a form. Let's see if the placings change for Moskova, keeping in mind that the two are very close on handicap. And uh, let's see if Moskova maintains her winning streak from her last two runs with jockey Suraj Naredu. Next, we're looking at horse number 4, Incendio, and horse number 9, Aggression. Both raced last in race number 71, where Incendio finished 5th and Aggression finished 4th. Winner was Shimmering Star. Aggression finished a nose in front of Incendio in that race. Let's see if either of the two could pull up a place this time. Incendio will be ridden by Arshad Alam and Aggression will be ridden by K. Sai Kiran. Huh. Next, we're looking at horse number 7, Glorious Leaps, horse number 10, Atom, and horse number 11, Eastside. All ran in race number 73, where Glorious Leaps finished 6th, Atom finished 2nd, both are from Asha Doctor Stable, and Eastside finished 8th from DM David Stable. Eastside has not been having quite impressive results this time, is now running with a hood on. 
where Atom and Gloria Sleeps are having far more or less satisfying performances. Let's see how the three perform in this race. Next, we're looking at horse number eight, Apna Time Aiga, last race in race number 66, where he finished sixth. Jockey Y. Ashrinath took up the running and led the field till the bend, and then he just faded out. Now, running a seven furlong, let's see if luck favours him this time. He will now be ridden by apprentice jockey Sujit Kumar Paswan. Next up, race number 7 and the last race of the day, the Almanac Handicap for horses rated 21 to 46, about 2400 metres. First, we're looking at horse number 1, Head Boy, last seen in race number 4, over 1400 metres, where he finished 8th out of 11 horses. Now running a 2400 meter race, a jump of 1000 meters from his last start, Head Boy has been over longer distances and he has placed on board in those races, carrying 60 kilos with jockey Arshad Alam up. Let's see how the six year old performs. Next, we have horse number two, Sea Sky, and horse number five, Ember Glow. Last seen in race number 53, where Sea Sky was fighting it out to the very end in a close finish where she finished three quarter lengths behind the winner being Resolute. Ember Glow finished fourth in that same race out of the nine runners. Ember Glow will be now ridden by Dhanu Singh Deora and Sea Sky runs with blinkers on. Next, we're looking at horse number three, Rustler and horse number seven, Theon. They both raced last in race number 65 over 1600 meters, where Rustler finished fourth and Theon finished eighth out of the nine runners. The winner of the race was Divine Chakra. Rustler will be ridden again by apprentice jockey Rupal Singh, claiming an allowance of 1k. Theon, this is his second start of his career, the first start not being so impressive in a 1600. Let's see if the Colt will impress us in the 2400. Theon will now be ridden by jockey Suraj Naredu. Next, we're looking at horse number four, Hudson. Last ran in race number 42, where the mare finished ninth out of 11 horses in the 1400, where the winner was Daring Heart. Hudson has not been giving any satisfying results to trainer Rutherford. Let's see if the six year old could pull up an oppressing run in the 2400. He now runs with hanging basket bit on. Next, we have horse number six, Clear Vision. Clear Vision last raced in race number 46, where he finished fifth out of seven horses. The winner was Incognito. Clear Vision is also from trainer Vijay Singh's stable. Let's see how much the Colt has improved from his last performance and hope he gives a better one in his second run. Will be ridden by stable jockey Hindu Singh. Thank you everyone. Please send in your questions on the WhatsApp number given there where you ask questions to the professionals over here. Hashtag ask the pro. We are eagerly waiting for your questions. Signing off Melissa and Arijit from the preview. Thank you.